So you want to edit your videos for social media so they look like all the other cool videos you keep seeing on your feed. Tags, subtitles, icons. Well, you're in luck. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to edit videos for social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram using a free software on your computer. I'm Sam Felder, the head of video marketing at Two Heads Consulting, and every week we share with you a different video that helps you as an entrepreneur market your business without wasting too much time or money. This is the part of the video where I ask you to subscribe because if I don't ask you to, you probably won't. But the truth is that if you ask your users to subscribe, they're much more likely to. So hit subscribe. Before we dive into the actual editing of the video, you first need to understand the three rules of how video is consumed on social media. Think about when you're scrolling through your feed on Facebook, LinkedIn, our eyes are actually tracking text. Everything is moving so fast, which means that if your video doesn't automatically catch my attention, I'm gonna scroll right past it. So how do you get me to actually stop and watch the video? Well, rule number one is add a text title to your video. That's why you'll see in a lot of micro content that there is a text bar at the top or bottom of the video, which tells you exactly what this video is about so that you don't have to guess and you don't have to spend more than one second looking at it before you know exactly what you're getting in this video. Don't assume that as the viewer, I'm going to click on the play button just because your footage looks interesting. The text is what will draw me in and actually get me to engage. Another thing to remember is that most of us don't watch social media videos with sound. In fact, according to Facebook, 85% of the videos on Facebook are watched without audio. That basically means that if you have an incredible soundtrack, but no subtitles, no one will know what's going on in your video. And that leads us to rule number two, always include subtitles. It's true that it might seem like a lot of work, but I'm gonna show you how with this pretty simple software, you can do it by yourself. Not only that, but the little extra effort it requires will go a long way in actually getting people to watch and engage with your video. Think about if you put all this effort into creating a video, but don't include subtitles, chances are no one will actually watch it. So it's worth a few more minutes of your time. Next, think about how quickly we scroll through our feeds and how even when we're watching a video that's really interesting, our fingers get really itchy and we kind of want to click on to the next thing. That means you always need to be keeping your audience engaged with your video so that we don't get bored and move on. And that leads me to rule number three, which is include pattern interrupts in your video. Pattern interrupts are small, unexpected actions that offer an element of surprise. Now this could be anything, an icon popping onto the screen, a change in camera angle, some text or a picture. Whatever it is, it's constantly keeping your audience's eyes engaged in the video and not itching to go someplace else. The more of those you can include, the more your audience will stay focused on what you're actually saying in your video. Now that you understand the three rules for editing for social media, I'm going to show you a free software you can use on your computer that will help you do this on your own. Stay tuned for next week where we share more video marketing tips and tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to edit a video for social media that you would upload to Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram uh, using a free and very easy software on your computer. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do is go to www.capwing.com um, and this is a really great and free tool. The only catch is that whatever you create on this website, when you export it to put onto social media, it will have a small watermark on the bottom, but you can pay to remove it. And the truth is that it's such a tiny watermark, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to use this because it's basically free. So you're gonna go to get started and um, there's two different options. There's start with blank canvas, right? Which means that it's basically just a blank canvas or you can put in the video that you've already created and now you just want to edit for social media. Um, you can actually even put in a URL if you have a video on YouTube or something, but I've created a video specifically for this video, so we're gonna use that. Um, so you upload it and you put the file in and it takes you to this lovely interface. Now, the thing that you should know about Capwing is it's still pretty new, so it's a little bit buggy, but out of all of the different sites that I've looked at, this is the one that has the most capabilities for what you need to do for basically free, um, and it's worth a little glitchiness. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna look at here is that the shape of the video is a rectangle. And while that's totally fine, um, nowadays a lot of the videos that you'll see on social media are actually square, and that's um, a format that you can put on Facebook, LinkedIn, um, especially Instagram. So I suggest that we reformat this video so that it's square. So 
<clears throat> um, you're going to see down here at the bottom, right? I just pressed back, and your menu is here at the bottom. And you're going to go to resize, and it's going to give you different options for the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio basically means what size do you want the video to be. So one, one to one is a square, and that's most often you'll find on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. Nine by 16 is um, this vertical, sh uh, sorry, this rectangle shape, um, and that's like a story for Instagram. 16 by nine is the generic um, format for any cinematic video and what you would upload on to YouTube. The most common and the one that I would suggest doing for most of your social media videos is one-to-one. -one. And so once you click on that, you can click back. Um, and then if you wanna reshape your video, so you click on the actual video and you can resize it like this or like this. You can also lock aspect ratio, which means, whoop, um, which means that anytime you make it bigger or smaller, it will move the whole thing um, at the appropriate ratio. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna basically make the video fill up the center, but I want the top and the bottom to be left blank because that's where we're gonna add um, a title and subtitles, right? Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, social media video is um, different than a video that you'd watch on YouTube or a video that you'd watch on Netflix because it's really created for the social media platforms. And because of that, text is a really big part of social media video. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you how to do is um, add a title at the top. Uh, okay, so you're gonna go back and you're gonna do add text. And this is the text that it automatically puts on. You can move it around, you can make it look different. And this video I actually created where I say that I'm going to show you how to make um, a social, how to edit a social media video. So I want the title to represent what I'm talking about in this video so that whoever is watching will know as soon as they're scrolling, oh, this is a video where Sivan is talking about how to edit a video and that will entice them to watch for longer. So I'm going to type here what the title is, how to edit a social media video. Now there's lots of different options. You could write maybe even free, uh, maybe tutorial, how to edit social media video for free. Uh, that's a little bit long, but let's see if we can get away with it. Um, okay, so uh, then you would put your whatever you decided your title. And again, the title should be something that would entice your viewer to watch or to even stop scrolling for half a second. Um, you can change the font. So here it's Arial. Um, let's even choose more fonts. One of the fonts that um, I would always recommend using a font that's um, not frilly, not too fancy, because again, the eye is really quickly scrolling and you don't want to confuse people or um, never use Comic Sans. A lot of times I use Montessera that looks the closest to our, our brand um, font so you can make it a different color if you want I'm just gonna stick with black and white because that's what I like great um, okay so now I have the um, title which is the first step and maybe I will make it uh, bold let's try that okay um, okay so I would generally recommend that your title be just two lines um, but you can play around with it. You can see what you like. Um, you can copy things that work for other, that you've seen other people do on their videos. So that's gonna be my title, right? Tutorial, software to edit social media videos free. Actually, I don't like that. Let's name it something else. Okay. Uh, how to edit social media videos for free. Okay, great. Um, that's something that I know that my viewers always are asking about. What editing software can I use? How can I do it for free? What if I'm not a trained editor? So this is something that I know will be appealing to them. Um, and it's at the top, so when they're scrolling through their feed, they'll see it right away. And remember to save always because it's a little bit glitchy. Um, okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is add pattern interrupts, right? Those are little things that uh, little graphics or images or cutting to a different video or changing the angle that kind of keep people's eyes engaged 
um, and always watching as opposed to it just being one long thing of my face without anything else happening. And those little interruptions actually cause people to stick around for longer because their eyes won't get as bored and they won't be as enticed to scroll past and check out something else. Um, so the way that you can do that here, um, you can add shapes, uh, you can add images. This is connected, I think, to Google and YouTube, so you can you can search for stuff. So one of the first things I say is, you know, in today's video. So let's see what we can find for video. Uh, okay, great. So this looks good. I could add um, in today's video, right? That'll I can make it bigger or smaller. <clears throat> let's say I want this to show up here. Now I don't want it to stay for the entire time. So if I wanted to just pop up at a certain point, I would go back, I would go to timeline and it will show me here where, um, see down here, it means that this thing, this is my title, which I want to stay the whole time. And this image, I only want it to show up for a couple seconds. So let's see. So that just pops on for a few seconds. Um, then what else do I say? Okay, so I say for Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, so I could have um, an image of the Facebook icon maybe pop up. Um, so let's try that. And maybe also a LinkedIn icon. LinkedIn. Great. LinkedIn. Okay, so now I can have those two things. Also, if you want to lock aspect ratio, that just means that when you make the image bigger or smaller, it won't do funky things with the shape. It'll keep it the same size. So now once again, we're going to go back into the timeline and make sure that it only pops in when we want it to pop in. So let's see where I say how to edit your videos for social media, like Facebook and LinkedIn. We'll have that pop up here. Facebook. One more thing, if you want to add, let's say, more videos or um, even add a scene at the end, so like I want to have it be that it says, and the last thing I say um, is free watch software a video and add text, right? And I would say, say here, oops, not Comic Sans, free. I could add um, a new scene and say, online. watch full. Um, maybe make it red. So I know I was serious. And I would maybe make it this shape, this font. Okay, great. Okay, and that'll pop up here. And that will just be here. Um, again, go back to the timeline. And make it just show up at the end. Great, and then I can even just add a little image of YouTube. Um, so I can really drive that home that it's going to be on YouTube. Okay, great. So now I have two of the very important Again, aspects, aspects of we'll just the make it video, which is the title, the shape of the icon, and these little icons or pattern interrupts or visuals, whatever you want to call them. And now I'm going to show you how to add the next important thing, which is subtitles. Um, and now in order to create subtitles, right, there's two different ways and I'm going to show you the easiest one. So the first thing you're going to do is publish this video. Um, and this is going to take a little bit of time. So now, if you want to remove the watermark down here, you can. It costs about $6 for this video. Um, but you can also download it with the watermark because who really cares? So I'm going to download this. And then it downloaded, that's great. And then I'm gonna go in and show you how to add subtitles. So you're gonna go back into Capwing and you're going to go to our tools and here you have add subtitles to video. Um, now we're going to upload the video that we just downloaded. Let's just check where it is. Okay, now we're going to upload it here. You're going to start from the beginning of the video and you're going to listen to what you say. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit your social media videos. Okay, so I'd say every few seconds, right, add a new subtitle. Um, so here, I'm gonna say in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your videos. And I'm making this 
four thirty-eight. Uh, let's, let's see. Um, okay, so this is what the subtitles look like at the bottom. You can have them look however you want. You could have a background. You could have no background and change the color. Um, I usually like to, if, if it's on a white background, I usually like to just have black text. Um, Arial is a great uh, font to use for subtitles. I probably wouldn't make it bold because my title is bold. Um, so here, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your videos. Oh, I say social media videos. How to edit your how to edit your social media videos. Um, you can also extend the time so that it lasts for longer on the screen. Let's go back and see. Okay, great. And then you would do add subtitle. Um, and you'd say for Facebook and LinkedIn. So let's see. Okay, and then make that in there. And I'm going to show you a free software online. use in this tutorial. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's great. Um, there is an option to auto-generate. I have tried it several times. It's fine, and you can then edit within the subtitles if it makes mistakes, but because my video is so short and there's really only four lines, I just did it this way but auto-generating is also an option, similar to how on Facebook you can create auto-generated subtitles, and it's actually pretty good. Um, again, you can change um, how you want the background to be. You can change uh, if you want to align it to the middle, no, align to the bottom. Uh, you can change the font, all those kinds of things. But in general, subtitles are pretty straightforward and you just need people to be able to see what you're saying on the screen. Um, now that we're done, we're going to press create. And again, it's going to process our content. Um, and there you have it, our beautiful video. And subtitles, title, little pattern interrupts. Uh, so it's interesting because when you subtitle a video on Capwing, it will put the logo on the top. And when you make a regular video in the video maker, it puts the logo at the bottom. Personally, I don't think it's a big deal to have a logo in your video, uh, like a watermark in your video, especially if it saves you money. Um, and then all you have to do is press download and you have your social media video, which you can then upload to Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, the sky's the limit. And again, you can create different types of, if you wanna create a story for your Instagram, you can use a different aspect ratio. Um, and once you get a hang of it, even though it seems like it's gonna take a long time and there's a steep learning curve, it's actually like kind of riding a bike, right? So once you get started and you learn the process, it gets less overwhelming each time and you really just have to start. And one thing I really want to remind you about social media video is it's not about being perfect. It's just about getting it done. So now that you know how to create your social media videos, we want to see the first one that you put out. So tag us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter at Two Heads Consulting and show us exactly what you've done so that we can comment and give you positive feedback. We'll see you next week with another marketing video.